Back seal. Lead back seal. Oh yes. Some sort of butterfly caterpillar having a bit of a snooze. Come on lad, let's have you. Come on. Well that was 47. 47. And it's a bit of silver. <laughs> Different. I think it's part of those uh I think it's part of a uh, cane uh, ferrule. Personal, that's what I think. But it's silver. Oh yeah, that's different. One big Alamo! Well, a big Georgia third penny. Probably just about see that. That's big. 18 or something. 18 or six, should imagine. Uh, I think we can safely say that's a spoon. Yeah, hey, look at that. That's a big spoon, that. Ah, yes. Dessert spoon, let's get the dessert in. Oh, look at that there. Spoon handle. I think that would be something like uh, 17th century. Beautiful design. Silver, I think. Good afternoon, detecting fans. Let me tell you, I'm out with John's detecting adventures once again with the legend that is John Bradbury. This is my third silver find with John in three days. Absolutely amazing. We've done a field out here in the Pendle countryside, on permission, of course. We've dug an awful lot of scrap. We've walked up and down the field. I've done nearly five kilometers of walking so far. We found a couple of half pennies, Edward VII, which is quite nice. But then this beauty came out. This is George V, a little threepence. Wow. Silver threepence, 1921, and it's like absolutely a joy. I tell you what, it's like putting fresh batteries in you. I can't wait to do this field, the rest of it, and the next one now. Listen, if you're going to follow John Bradbury, make sure you subscribe to his channel. If you're not subscribed, you're missing out, and you don't want to miss out on not only the, the fun finds like silver, but his artifacts and everything else that's there as well. This man is a detecting legend. Make sure you're subscribing. I subscribed and now I'm on silver!